Timmy, you good? Good. Well, good. Welcome back. Well, a couple of days off. Back. A weird, funky couple, couple of t- days. A couple of days off. Sounds like, yeah, like we were just chilling for a couple of days. Just chilling, hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Hanging out with the kids. Who said that? Uh, Olivia. Our niece, Olivia. Yeah. Our just oldest hanging niece. out with the kids. Just just hanging out four. with the kids. Uh, Shout out to Olivia. Olivia will need to be listening to this soon. <sighs> Is the younger generation Sometimes listening to podcasts? I don't know. They're like so that. young, though. 13, well, almost 14, almost 12. A couple, couple weeks. A couple, right. eight weeks. No, May. Whatever. I man. was thinking March. Several whatever. weeks. Yeah. I, I wonder if they do. If they listen to any long form stuff, period. Yeah. I, I bet it would have to be short. Here's two to five minutes of me just. Maybe not, but they. Let's. I'll, I'll, I'll text them after yeah. and ask if, they, if they've ever listened to a podcast and if they. If they do, which ones? Or they, or they even maybe they watch, fifteen minute YouTube videos. Well, yeah, that's different. It's visual. Yeah, but this is visual. This is on YouTube. Oh, it's you're a saying podcast. listen and yeah, watch. yeah, oh, it okay. might be. Yeah, I can see that. I'm gonna text them after. To just listen to like iTunes. What time is it? One twenty back in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, so they'll be in school. They'll probably be texting anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sometimes get random Snapchats from them, and they'll be like, or more Olivia, the thirteen year old. Yeah, the streaks. Like, I get the streaks almost every day. I get the streaks, but it'll be like <laughs> just out of class. I still have no idea what that means. Do you? Streaks. Yeah. God, you are an I'm old a man, bro. I'm a dad. Uh, streaks means the day, uh, a streak, like uh, days in a row that you've Snapchatted, and you can see, like I'll, I'll show you. I only have a streak with one person. On all of Snapchat, and you can see Olivia Curran see the fire in the eight, yeah, eight days in a row. Oh, that's what that means, yeah. Oh, so uh, there's some sort of prestige to the streaks. Oh, to uh, I, did, I just thought it was a kid term, and I was like, I so I always Timmy. respond back, I say streaks too. <laughs> I sometimes do too, or I'll just post, <laughs> I'll, I'll just post like some funny, funny face video of me or something to cash or whatever. Anyway, enough of right. enough of shout about, out to Olivia and Will, though, yeah, who aren't listening. Maybe their dad is though. Their moms. Anyway, uh, so so Kobe, I don't know how yep. to like transition the week into of Kobe. that. Yeah, week of Kobe. But Co- so that was that was what was it? Sunday morning. Sunday. You, you yep. text. You text the fam. It was, uh-huh. it was weird. Like I don't have any any personal tie to Kobe. You don't. You never met the dude. Nope. But it was still like a a shock and a weird thing. Of course, everyone comes out and talks about how great he is and all the good things he does, and it seems like those are all true, or at least a lot of it's true. But uh, it still was like weird. It was like a shock, you know, 41 years old, coming back into the spotlight a lot lately, and then gone. It's a good reminder that this shit ain't forever. Yeah, and I think the, I think the um, it almost resonated with everyone because he's got, obviously, his basketball, and people yeah. are big fans with him. And yeah. then he has his post-basketball, which is like his entrepreneur. So, like, there's a lot of, like, people. Body armored. Yeah. Does the detail. He, he had a lot Mamba of things Academy. going in the entrepreneur. Uh, yeah. He, yeah, he's got not his only Mount McCandy. He had, um, he won an Academy Award. So, he's yeah, yeah, producing. Yeah. He's got He's got all that. And yep. then also the fact that his daughter died with him. So, there's a lot of different yeah. touching points that a lot of people can re- uh, relate to, too. Yeah. Pretty shitty stuff. Yeah. And, and of course, it wasn't just him. It was seven other people. Or not, not just his family, but seven other people. Like the amount of things it's affected. Even I told I was telling you earlier, uh, even Super Bowl, like it's affecting the Super Bowl and what's yeah. going on. Uh, there was, I, I put some notes on. So now that's a good segue. That is a good segue. Yeah. We, you know, we didn't want, oh, did I just delete? I just deleted this. Your oh, notes. Bastard. Yeah. It's hard to find the notes after you delete them. You have to like. Recently deleted? Oh, no. Yeah, but I just, you know, I put. But recently it, deleted is hard to find sometimes. Yeah, let's see. Maybe. Oh. Notes. Oh, come on. Oh, I got it. All right. So there was three brands that talked about, they were launching big campaigns starting today. It's Super Bowl, or starting yesterday, Monday. Okay. Today's, today's Tuesday. Big campaigns about uh, what they're they're doing, uh, you know, leading up. They don't want to just have a Super Bowl commercial. They're right. going to do stuff all week. Right. Support. Yeah. Avocados from Mexico, Pop-Tarts, and Olay, they all paused campaigns. Fuck. I haven't seen what they're doing moving forward uh-huh. when they when they do it. But, I, I, you know, that was the day after. It, it really would probably be pretty tone deaf to go out with some happy or positive campaign when people are – are sad. Everyone. That's all anyone's talking about in the sports world. Yeah. That's all. Uh, I think media day starts today for the Super Bowl. Does it? Okay. Or maybe it was yesterday even. But I, I don't know actually. But 
I'm sure all all that talk is going to be about Kobe and the families and yeah. and so it's like it would be super tone deaf to to come out with some stuff now. Planters, did I tell you about this one? Nope. So, I, don't, I don't know much about okay. the actual commercials. Yet. Okay. Yet. So planters, they've already started their campaign where Mr. Peanut dies. Right. I knew that. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's obviously. Yeah. They, they just can't do it, so they decided they're canceling the they're canceling the campaign altogether. <sighs> That's that's uh, Vayner Media. That too. is Vayner Media, yeah. and that's millions and millions. Oh, this is a, probably a whole year worth of stuff that they've been oh, doing. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm yeah, time, yeah. dollars, and the whole campaign. But I saw Wesley Snipes was posting about it, like so. Cause this this already has been going on, like yeah. so sad, good friend, that kind of thing. Yeah, like as part of a, obviously a partner of it, and then they retweeted it, and and then obviously all the Kobe stuff happens and. You know, yeah. they were the whole the Super Bowl focus was going to be on the funeral of Mr. Peanut. Oh no! Yeah, so they couldn't do that. Couldn't uh, think of a worse campaign no, right no, now. No, no, Jeez. no, no. So they they are totally done with that. What are they doing? Uh, do you know? I don't know. I, I assume they have the the ad spend by. I wonder. They what, definitely do. They have the space. Yeah, I wonder what they have. Well, like what they have to do to get stuff in, like with timing wise, if they have to have sh- stuff completed by 30 weeks ago, or they can do it up until Saturday night or Sunday morning. I remember when I, we did the MMA award show commercials, um, that were going to be through Fox. Yeah. We, I think it was like three weeks out. It needed to be, it was like the final hard date. And then stuff that was going to be integrated within the show was like 10 days before, like they needed like logos or whatever that might've been. Interesting. So kind I, of a fast turnaround. So, but like they definitely yeah. have all their stuff in now. So, Everybody does who's so supposed I'm sh- to, but I'm sure like they're making some exceptions right now. Now, now have t- we talked about ad buy is is five million plus five 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 I five five. I thought thing I saw five six, but whatever, same thing. Five 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 six for a thirty second commercial. For yeah, and so I it's different than what we were doing with the MMA awards, but awards show where it's you know much much yeah. less than that. I'm sure there's a way they can do something. I I don't know what they do or how they do it or if they. If there's time enough for people to do tributes for to, to Kobe, if Nike can put the, something together, the, the, if the, be a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, I wonder if Nike cities are are like changing to gold and purple. Cleveland, like, Cleveland, I saw, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, I mean, it's totally affecting everything yeah. going on. You've never seen it. We've never seen it like never. that in our lifetime. And that affects so much everything. Uh-huh. Like every everywhere you go, everyone's talking about it and things and and up until a week from now, Super Bowl and probably a lot longer too. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it's. it's uh, I kind of feel like the Super Bowl is going to be. Do you remember when the hurricane in New Orleans, the like Katrina stuff? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then, like, when they made the Super Bowl, and like that, the Superdome, right? That's the Superdome. Yeah, it was like shut down for months because people were living in it, and yeah, like that yeah. was like their coming out party type of like. It's a happy kind of time feeling. I wonder yeah. if like they'll kind of flip the switch and make the Super Bowl like a bonding community. Let's get together. Let's celebrate yeah. life type the of life work. of Kobe yeah, and his yeah. daughter. And, and then that'll be like, the, yeah, it's, it's different when you got a little kid involved too. Yeah. Oh yeah. It just changes like how, you know, how to do it and how to, I'm sure Nike will, you know, Nike's good at doing the heartstrings type stuff. They'll probably do. I've seen videos already cut of, of Kobe doing a turnaround fadeaway from the corner and then his daughter turn around fade away oh, from really? the corner. Yeah. That. So I'm sure there's, yeah. And I, that could have been anybody. I don't know who did that. I just saw it, but I'm sure there's, there's stuff on that, but you have to really approach it differently. Cause there will be people that play on it and legacy of Kobe. And mm-hmm. so I'm sure Nike will do something, but I, I don't, I couldn't imagine and, and the only thing I could see Super Bowl wise is like uh, in loving memory or something yeah. like that. And being everyone, not just Kobe, but all the families. And I think that's the only way you could kind of do it that now it's I think it's too quick to turn something around like a true tribute. And that wouldn't feel forced because it is, you know, I, yeah. you, you see all these people talking about it. And, you know, I, I posted something, but it wasn't about like. You know, I know Kobe, that kind of thing. But just like the legacy, and it's crazy how many people talk about him, and and you know, how many people cared and know knew him, and blah blah blah. But there's also people who who jump on the bandwagon to have their name associated with Kobe. Like people do that when people die, and and people want to say I I had this interaction and I did this, and you know I, I don't, maybe they're just sharing to share because it was a good story. I, I know there's people that are probably wanting to get their name associated with it. So I think it's something that you have to be careful for 
if you're going to do something in the Super Bowl to, to just try to get associated with the name. Yeah, but there's definitely enough time. I mean, as far as like yeah, the, the yeah. radio but, capabilities but, but, but and the, tribute, yes. there's definitely, yes. you can turn that, I mean, but to put to, a whole team can turn that around in a day, no problem. Yes, but I mean more from a, a thought out perspective. Yeah. No, like, got, how do we do this? Yeah. How is it the right way to do it? Nike can do that though in a day. There'll be something for Nike, I guarantee it. Well, it, maybe they have, they're they not a part of it yet. I don't know that Nike, does Nike do Super Bowl ads? I don't um, remember any Nike Super Bowl ads ever. It's a great question. I feel like Nike is a brand that would be like, ah, we don't do that stuff. I mean, they have product placement in the Super Bowl. They're on the jerseys, every yeah, single jersey. They're, they're the only, partners. Yeah, they're the only ones who have. I don't, I don't know I, if they do it actual commercials. You're, you're guaranteeing it. I'm not, I'm not so certain. But I'm not that. necessarily commercial wise. But I'm just saying They'll something. Do something. Yeah. They already posted something. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, but to do like a, do a real tribute kind of thing, I wonder how that'll mm-hmm. work. But uh, I know there's. Just uh, more stuff that's been affected. Lakers and Clippers were, were supposed to play tonight. They're not playing. Uh, the 24-second violations teams have been doing. Yeah. I saw the Timberwolves uh, in, the, the I think, the last points he scored. Or, uh, yeah, when he passed Michael. When he passed Michael. You're right. You're right. Should have written. By the way, I've down. been calling him Mike lately. Mike Jordan? No, just Mike. Why? Because like, the NBA guys call him Mike. So I've been calling him Mike when I, be when I like refer to Mike. Mike. Yeah. Instead of MJ. Well, that's cool, man. That, yeah. yeah. So I have that, no what, idea who you're talking about if you talk he, to me about it. When him. he passed Mike, that's it was right there. Yeah, so he passed on the free throw line, it's, it's Michael Jordan to be third all time, and then they just put the ball down and took their 24-second violation yep. from there. So there's been some cool tributes. Uh, there's, of course, a gazillion things people are talking about. Have I'm, they announced when his like funeral or showing? No, or no, no. It's going to be at the Staples Center. I mean, it's got to be. Unless Vanessa well, and the family want it like, really small. Well, I, I think, can't see that happening. I could. I could see them doing something like, okay, we only want immediate family, but there's going to be something to tribute like yes, maybe the Lakers do for it. For sure, it, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah, be yeah. something huge. Yeah. Well, I saw somebody talk about, or I heard somebody talk about today, that maybe they will do something family and then do something Bigger. Yeah, there'll be like a, a parade or something in L.A. Yeah, it'll be big in L.A. I mean, Nipsey Hussle's was huge. I mean, that was massive, and this is yeah, and much, Kobe. much greater than that. Greater? Yeah. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but m- bigger. Greater sign. More. More than? Yeah, still, though. So we'll see what happens with all that. The Super Bowl, and we're going to – we'll uh, we'll do another podcast later this week where we actually – podcast and video where we look at the Super Bowl ads – pick our, our top couple always every year. That's, I mean, I don't give a shit about the Super Bowl. I don't think I'm going to bet on it. So I really don't give a shit we about got it. Squares going squares. Yeah, you'll be You're in there. Than, no, no, no. At, at where we're going. Yeah. Oh, well I'll do that. I'll yeah. do that. I mean, I'm in the squares. What's the spread right now? Do you know? It's pick a mission here. Cash in the background yeah. yelling, Parrot, squealing. He's parakeet. so squeaky. Yeah. Uh, I think it's pick them or one or hmm. something. I'm going on right now. All right, so I use this app called Action Network. Gives you the odds, tells you who's betting on what, the percentage of people, or the percentage of the money that's been spent on teams and the percentage of people that have bet on teams. Kind of gives you an idea of, of who the pros are betting. Right now, it, the, it opened as a pick em. Now it's minus one for the Chiefs. Minus one? Okay. Yeah. With 34,000 bets, uh, and they, they have a handful of different places they pull this from. 59% of the money, or I'm sorry, 59% of the bets are on the Chiefs and 56% of the money. So a slight, slight change of pros betting on 49ers, which I think is interesting. And 81% of the bets are on the over with 86% of the money being on the over. And the over under is, it opened at 51 and a half. Now it's at 54 and a half. So think in high scoring what's, game. What's the weather going to be like in your rain? I don't know. I haven't seen any rain in Miami yet this okay. week, but it's Tuesday. 54? 54 and a half. 54 and a half. 54 and a half. Hmm. It seems high. I'd have to go back and look at some things, but I'd like I'm not the over. that shit. I'm, I wouldn't touch at, it. At initial thought. Super Bowls are so weird. You never know who's going to come in and be. Yeah, plus they got like the extra layoff. Yeah. I don't like over-unders on a Super Bowl game. Yeah. Uh, some, other, some other notes. There'll be 28 long form commercials which has to be so that's a long form is over 45 seconds okay there's also a bunch of 90 seconds okay which has to, that has to be a record that seems long i like that though yeah i do too 
Uh, they've also gone from four commercial breaks. Or, uh, they've got five five breaks. Or, I'm sorry, five instead of four. So what they're doing, uh, they they want to... Like TV timeouts, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I wonder if they'll do those half and halves, some of those. Oh. How they how they keep you on the field yeah. with, with one those camera. Are the best. Yeah, and then oh, have wow. a half. But it's Super Bowl, so if I'm paying my X number, I'd want to be a part of the full screen. I wouldn't. I think there's more eyeballs. If you're, different. If you're Super Bowl's them. different. Super Bowl's different, though, I think, with this. Well, because I think, think it, about regardless, how many regardless, people... you still see the commercial. Yeah, yeah, but it's half half the screen. It depends on what I'm doing and what I need to show, I think. But because also people are looking at the game and what's going on with that camera. Yeah, it's I, different than other games where you might be less likely to, to get up and leave. But people sit for the commercials. You know, you've been at parties. We'll be at a party this weekend where probably a small percentage of the people give a shit about the game. And more people care about the just the party of it and the commercials and that stuff. We probably won't even be able to hear the commercials. That kind of deal. But but people sit and wait for the commercials. They'll go take a pee, go get their food during the gameplay. Different. Yeah. Super Bowl is different. Yeah, I, I would, I mean, if you're asking me today, what am I doing? I'm split screening it no matter what. I think, and I don't have the statistics on that. No. But I, 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 would, like I, would, I would guarantee that those are more successful. I would agree, except yeah. for the Super Bowl. Okay. Well, we'll never know. There's no stats on it. I'm sure there will be. Well, no one's changing the channel. What are you talking about? How would you know? Well, you know, more there, there's, there's going to be statistics on, yeah, 100%. How do you, that's how that's how the salespeople are going to be selling this in the years to come. Just like when we do like wow. USA Today Gravity Takeover versus this takeover or this. Yeah. It's the same thing. They have data on all of it. Yeah, but this is, well, no, this is different because this is on the screen and nobody changes the screen during commercials. It's not the only statistic that they go by. What else do they go by? There's Nielsen reports. There's also yeah, like how surveys. Okay, did you see this commercial? Did you like this have commercial? You, how? By, the way, by the way, surveys. Have you ever taken a survey ever in your life? Yes. From from a, from a, I mean, like a, I mean, you've taken a survey, of course. But I mean, for, for a TV, for a an ad, for a this, for that, for anything that has, that, when, when you read surveys. Yes, this survey I know says, what you're saying for surveys because there's a lot of them are skewed. But yes, I have because I really? got paid a $5 gift card to Starbucks. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I've never done that. But I, I don't know how you would be able to back to back to the, this combo. I don't know how you'd be able to tell if a full screen or half screen is getting better visually. If you're getting more out of it visually. Okay. I'll find this some statistics. All right, please do yeah. and bring them. You know what, we, what happened last year? We had one tie to the Super Bowl last year. Now let's get the hell out of here. We did what on the Super Bowl? We had one tie. <laughs> this is weird. Just, you got the, New York Knicks vow to go on a 24 game losing streak to honor the late Kobe. Who says that? I don't know. That's not real. <laughs> no, funny, though. obviously it was yeah. a joke. Buzzing. Where's the buzz? Oh, uh, our tie last year to the Super Bowl, we were part of a QuickBooks campaign. Remember oh, that? yeah, yeah. Shit. And our thing that was, was a year ago, huh? yeah, they, they wanted to do small businesses and they came in. I, I talked about uh, this is a current media co. Was this our city coffee? We did both. But they only did our um, Kerm Medico. Okay. So it was, I, I do remember that now that I remember the picture. So they, they, the, the whole thing was they wanted to honor small businesses and people that use QuickBooks, which we do. I was going to say cookbooks. QuickBooks, which we do. And uh, they were going to tag us and feature us and put money behind it. It was going to be seen by X number of people, I think a million plus on Facebook. And they never tagged us and never did anything with us. Our picture and stuff was on it. But you didn't even see... <laughs> current media co it was just pat current tim current yeah. and then listing off what we've done and then how we worked with athletes and that kind of thing that was just their agency check in the box yeah that's what it was I, hey I, we I need to have this and it was just like okay we did yeah. it and but I, I i really liked the two people we worked yeah. with they had the photographer came in cool yeah. dude I, I follow him on instagram and then the girl was super cool she's no sweet. longer there she's not nope. oh, you've talked to her kate i believe because uh, <laughs> we were emailing and then i was like it was like bounce back and I was like, oh oh, oh. I was like, where is she she i think she has snapchat now oh interesting yeah but she was super cool super yep. cool anyway that was our tie uh, and we were like kind of like cool i wonder if we'll get like a bump or anyone will maybe come to the site or and then like million i think millions and probably eight people <laughs> anyway timmy let's get to work uh we'll be back later this week with another podcast thank you for listening goodbye Thank you for listening. We appreciate it. Again, use our code BS at rcitycoffee.com. 
you'll get 15% off any and all coffee orders. You don't have to go to the store. You don't have to drink all that sugar shit at that corner coffee shop. Get some real good quality coffee. Step your game up. Again, thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.